Elliot Engel is a Democratic congressman currently representing New York's 16th district. He's been in Congress since 1988, so over 30 years at this point, and he hasn't had a serious primary challenger since the year 2000. Wow. So when Congress people get into Congress and they get a little too comfy in their seats and they don't really have any challenges, they stop working for the people. For example, Elliot hasn't visited his district since March, despite the crises going on in his very own district. He doesn't come to the district, and that shows that you don't care about the people. But this time around, Elliot has a serious primary challenger, and it seems like he's sweating a little bit. Recently, he went to his district, he finally came back to his district, and the Bronx Borough president was giving um, an address, and there were some other elected official officials there, and Elliot made a little mistake here. He actually said out loud the thing that you're not supposed to say out loud. Take a look at this embarrassing moment. It was caught over a hot mic, so he didn't even realize it until later. And then let's discuss. Then, then I got it, then go down the list, and it's just too many folks here. I didn't have a primary Say that again. I didn't have a primary Don't do that to me. So in case that audio was a little difficult for you to hear, being that he has a hot mic and he's wearing a face mask over his mouth, so it's a little difficult to hear, it's a little unclear, let me set the stage for you. So he's at a press conference with the Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz. And Ruben Diaz essentially says, we have this list, and here are all the people that are slated to speak at this press conference. Your name's not on the list, and we can't go through, we can't have every elected official speak, because there's not enough time. There's too many people here. And Elliot Engel there, he's, it looks like he's begging to speak, and he says there, I wouldn't care if I wasn't facing a primary challenger. So he doesn't care about addressing his constituents because there's, uh, you know, a health crisis going on. He doesn't care to address his constituents because there is riots and looting going on. He doesn't care to address his constituents because there are protests going on nationwide. He only cares about addressing his constituents to win his primary. It's a show. It's all a show. He wants you to think that he actually cares about you. Meanwhile, if he go gets back into Congress again, that'll be the last time you see him in your district for months. You won't see his face again. People in the district probably don't even know what he looks like, their own congressperson. So this is exactly what happens when a congressperson gets into Congress and they get a little too comfy. They're a little too settled in their seat. They don't have primary challengers, so they don't work for you anymore. They just live in Washington, D.C. or a vacation house in whatever state, and they stop caring. But things are different this time for Elliot Engel. He's got a primary challenger, Jamal Bowman. He supports Medicare for All. He supports a Green New Deal. So you better be sweating, Elliot Engel. You better be sweating. Because if you have a platform like that, you actually represent the people. So I hope Jamal Bowman retires Elliot Engel so he doesn't even have to bother coming back to the district because it's clear he doesn't care about you. He does not care about you. Retire, Elliot. Go vacation in D.C. or wherever your vacation home is crazy what an embarrassing moment i would be sweating if i were him let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you agree or disagree let's have a conversation did you think that was embarrassing because i sure did and subscribe to join the political revolution against mainstream media make sure you hit that bell notification too because i don't know why i said notification weird notification so you are aware of when I post my videos. Um, CNN and MSNBC, they're bought and paid for. Independent progressive media is the path forward. Thanks for watching.